This year, Japan unveiled intriguing details of what could potentially become a Japanese 6th generation fighter jet, dubbed the FX or F3. Impressively, the aircraft will be domestically developed and expected to cost around 5 trillion yen, about 48 billion US dollars. However, Japan should hurry up. According to current estimates, China, apparently, has more than 3,000 so-called 4th generation fighters at its disposal. To add to Tokyo's woes, Beijing has previously expressed its ambitions to deploy 5th generation fighters with stealth capability too. Russia is also planning to introduce a 5th generation aircraft soon, while also developing a large, unmanned aerial vehicle. So Japan needs to keep up with the tempo. According to rumors, the country will present the world's best 6th generation fighter. So let's find out some of the new program details recently released. FX Development While a technologically advanced and innovative country, Japan has not led the development of a new fighter craft domestically for around 40 years or so. For this reason, the country is very interested in bringing technical help from allied countries like the United States and the United Kingdom. The Japanese Ministry of Defense had narrowed down potential candidates to Lockheed and Boeing of the US and Britain's BAE systems. Companies will work on system integration capabilities such as radar and missiles, high stealth and efficient development technology. In theory, the new fighter should be able to share data with friendly US aircraft, like its F-22s and F-35s, making joint operations streamlined and, more importantly, safer. The British company BAE is also a good choice for Japan, as they are particularly skilled in developing electronic warfare technology that uses electromagnetic waves to prevent opponents from attacking. Pretty essential for Japan's ambitions for the new fighter. Other than these big names, it is anticipated that around 1,000 other companies will be involved in the program. This is the typical number required to build other modern fighters. Components like infrared sensors, lightweight airframes, and information systems will likely be outsourced to the program's supply chain of, hopefully, domestic companies. FX Design Japan presents a conceptual artwork for what the fighter may look like when complete. And here it is in all its glory. Little else can really be gleaned from the image. After all, it is only a concept piece. The final aircraft will likely look very different. Some have pointed to the fact that it will likely be bigger than the F-22 once finished, earning it the unofficial and, frankly nicknamed, Godzilla. However, what is known is that the FX will come with electronically actuated control surfaces. To maintain a low radar profile, space will be tight inside the airframe, so conventional hydraulic systems will be used sparingly, if at all. It will also come with a fiber optic flight control system, so-called fly-by-light system, as well as serpentine air intakes to help further reduce its radar cross-section and heat signature in flight. The FX will likely also come with heat shields and an integrated bonded structure that will likely be made of composite materials. This will help reduce the overall weight of the aircraft, giving the FX a much extended operational range and give the Japanese Air Force the much needed ability to be flexible with the air bases the FX will operate from. With regards to propulsion, one of the main companies involved in the project, IHI Corporation, has been testing a new jet engine, the XF9-1 low bypass turbofan engines, since 2018. This engine includes some exotic materials that will help keep its weight down while simultaneously increasing the engine's heat tolerance to as much as 3,272 degrees Fahrenheit. This engine is capable of pumping out around 16 and a half tons of thrust with afterburners. This is impressive, but it is still slightly lower than the F-119 engines currently installed on US F-22 Raptors. That being said, the XF-9 is slimmer and can generate more power at around 241 horsepower apiece. Japanese engineers have also been toying with thrust vectoring nozzles for the XF-91 engine, which, if successful, could provide the FX with some impressive mid-flight maneuverability. This kind of feature is currently an integral part of the F-22 and the Russian Su-30 fighters. Allegedly, 
The Chinese J-10 and J-20 fighters also have this capability. Other team members for the project, including Toshiba and Fujitsu, will be taking the lead in developing the FX's Gallium Nitrate Active Electronically Scanning Array Radar System. This should be able to double as a form of microwave defense systems for the fighter mid-flight against incoming missiles. The radar will also be supplemented by an infrared sensor and an electromagnetic sensor. FX Capabilities We've already touched on a few likely capabilities of the FX, but these are just rumors. At present, and for obvious reasons, technical specs for the FX are not available. However, it will likely be a twin-engine fighter with advanced technologies, including remote drone control capabilities, a VR-style helmet-mounted display, and a radar that can double as a microwave weapon to fry enemy missiles. The fighter will likely also incorporate some sophisticated mission systems and electronic warfare capabilities too. Mitsubishi Electric will likely take the lead in this area. This system will include self-defense jamming functions. For example, the fighter may also come equipped with an integrated fire control for fighters system that could allow Japanese and possibly US fighters to pull together their sensor and missile targeting capabilities enhancing the accuracy of beyond visual range missiles. The FX's landing systems will be developed by Subaru. While they are better known for making automobiles, the company does have an in-house aerospace division that currently builds the wings and landing gear for commercial aircraft like the Boeing 777. Apparently, the FX will also be able to control up to three drone-like Loyal Wingman craft, or combat support unmanned aircraft. These will likely take the role of either sensor-carrying or scout craft, with others being used as extra weapons platforms. Either type of drone would dramatically improve the FX's offensive capability while greatly reducing the manned jet's exposure to enemy attacks. Lockheed Martin is likely to provide technical support to Mitsubishi in developing the FX's airframe and help with the system integration. For the craft to be truly stealthy, the design of the airframe and the materials used will be critical. It must be radar absorbent to a greater or lesser degree to help reduce its radar cross-section as much as possible, for obvious reasons. Being so advanced, systems integration is also going to be a major headache. The new plane will likely be used as a multi-role fighter, able to attack targets on land and at sea, as well as, of course, in the air. It will have stealth in addition to networking functions to continue operations even if it is disturbed by electromagnetic waves. It will probably also have the capacity for at least six internally stowed weapons, including, but not limited to, air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground missiles, and anti-ship missiles, as per standard for multi-role aircraft. The armaments of the aircraft during combat will obviously vary depending on the requirements. Once developed, the aircraft will likely jointly operate with Japan's own self-defense forces and, to a certain extent, American armed forces. According to the press release, Japan is hoping to build around 90 of the fighters initially, which will replace the venerable but now aging F-2 planes. It is hoped that the aircraft will be ready for deployment as soon as 2035. Perhaps even more ambitious are the plans to have a working prototype by about 2024 with its first flight around 2028. The FX is also hoped to be in series production by 2031, with it finally entering service by the 2035 deadline. If this exciting Japanese-led initiative is realized, it will mark the first time that domestic groups have developed defense jets since Mitsubishi Heavy made the F-1 fighter in the 1970s. Tokyo's proposed timeline is, on the surface, a little unrealistic given the delays that plagued other advanced fighters over the last decade or so, like the US's 5th gen F-35 stealth jet. But Japan is already ahead of the game in some respects with regards to its extensive domestic research of component technologies, including tests of radars, engines, and networking systems. Japan even has a flying stealth demonstrator jet called the X-2 Shinshin with thrust vectoring engines. These existing technologies will come in very handy indeed for the years ahead. The FX program, if successful, will not only provide Japan with one of the most cutting-edge fighters in the world, 
but should also help build up their domestic, industrial capabilities significantly. That'll be all for this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave us a like. Another thing that would be amazing to see is you clicking on that red subscribe button and subscribing to Front Cause. Feel free to ask any questions in the comment section below, and we'll discuss them soon. See you later in the next video.